Welcome to basic combat training. Today is day one. During the first 72 hours, this is the pivotal moment where the drill sergeant and the trainee understand the responsibilities, the roles, and everything expected of them. During the first day, after they've already been introduced into the army and the hard regimen of what they're going to be doing over the next 10 weeks, we start to instill all of that responsibility and all of that discipline back into them. By doing that is to make sure that they wake up at 05, 515, their toes online. They already know that they're supposed to be shaven, right place, right time, right uniform. Today we're going to be giving PRT instructions, PRT is physical readiness training. We're going to be giving instructions on how to do uh, instructional formation as well as the extended rectangular formation. We're going to go into preparation drills. Uh, CD1, conditioning drill 1, conditioning drill 2, hip stability drill, recovery drill, and then we're going to also do uh, military movement drill 1. So these exercises we're going to have to break it down because this is going to be their first day to learn instruction. Fourth person on this side, both arms will go up, but obviously there's nobody on this side, so on the right you won't raise your right arm. Understand? Their nutritional value is a, is a big part of basic training. During the first cycle, one of the big aspects is the cold weather. You can actually burn more calories during the cold months than you do during the summer. You don't realize how much your body is actually being used, how much calories you're using, how much fat you're burning off. It's very important to take in all the nutrition to be able to perform at the, the optimal level that we need. So day one of basic training, trainees are going to do their chaplain brief to learn about religious preferences and then they'll do their equal opportunity brief and then they'll do their administrative actions later on this afternoon. Here in basic combat training, we have definitely taken precautions and precautionary measures in order to instill health and welfare in everyone and ensure that due to the pandemics is not spreadable within the ranks. Some of the precautionary measures that we take here in basic combat training are checking temperatures every single morning. We sanitize every morning, every night. Day one's important to make sure that all the trainees know all the regulations and everything that goes with basic combat training in its entirety. We want to make sure that the trainees are safe throughout the cycle. Day one's also important to set the standard early. We want to make sure that the trainees have the discipline that's needed throughout the whole cycle. After they take their showers, they go into personal time. Personal time is where they can write letters home, you know, let them know how their first day or their second day was, how their first night was and whatnot. They get to send letters home back to their family members. Um, the drill sergeants are still here because we have to stay here on so we turn off the lights. Drill sergeants are the ones that turn off the lights. So we give them personal time, which is about an hour time frame. Um, during the first few days, we do have to control showers as well. So it kind of takes up that time, but we still give them an opportunity to have a personal reflection. So after lights out, that concludes day one.